Hello everyone and welcome back to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through from start to finish everything you need to know about YouTube promotions or running ads for your YouTube videos to help promote them. Uh, maybe you have a call to action that you want someone to take when they watch your video. Uh, promoting uh, you know, with ads through video ads through the YouTube promotions tab here uh, is a great way of doing that. So how do we get here? First, you want to log into your YouTube channel. Once logged in, go to your YouTube studio dashboard here and click on content. Uh, normally here under content, you're going to see a list of your current videos here. You should now see a tab that says promotions. It may or may not say beta next to it, depending on when you are watching this video. The first thing that you want to do is you want to click the blue button that says get started. Now, in order to run ads for your videos, uh, you're going to have to have a Google Ads account. So in order to do that, you uh, if you already have one, you select the drop down menu here and you should see your account ID or name here. If you do not have one, uh, which for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you, you just click on create new account. And then when you're ready to go, go ahead and click the blue next button. Once you've done that, you want to select a video from your channel that you want to promote. So go ahead and click on the blue add link right there where it says select a video from your channel. And we're going to go ahead and do this most recent video here. It's going to let you know where it appears. So the video will be placed among other videos on YouTube, uh, the home feed, uh, search results, and it'll be at the top with the you know, word add underneath that, right? And this is just a preview of letting you know how that looks. Also, if you click on this drop down menu here, you are actually able to change the promotion headline. So, you know, by default, the promotion headline is going to be just the title of the video. Uh, but if you want that to be something else or you want to change that, you can just click into here and change that. Uh, and basically, you can, you know, change up the headline for that video. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and click on the blue next button once again. This is going to take us to the targeting section where basically we will decide who is going to see the promotion or who's going to see the ad. Uh, you don't want people seeing the ad in a country where you don't provide the product or the service, right? So you want to make sure you're reaching the correct viewers. So show to viewers in these countries. So for me, I only want to show this to viewers in say United States and Canada. And then I click the drop down menu and if you have a language that you want to kind of tailor into and say, hey, I only want people who speak English to be presented this ad or promotion. You get the point, right? So put the geographical locations in which you want to show the video ad to and then the language you want to show the video to as well. And then once you've done that, go ahead and click the blue next button once again. Now we're going to be presented with the budget tab. This is where you're going to decide how much money for the duration of the campaign are you going to spend on this video ad. So basically it tells me here uh, for USD or US dollars, if I spend 200 US dollars and I end the, the, the thing here on June 15th, which is in a couple of weeks, so two weeks, and right here it says that I'm probably going to get 800 to 1,000 views for $200. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, when you see that number, you need to calculate in your head, okay, if that's the case, and I'm selling a course, or I'm selling a book, or I offer coaching consultation, whatever it may be, right, you want to make sure that you're going to get your money's worth. So make sure that the thing that you're selling or promoting is going to end up giving you two, three, four, five x the amount you're spending on the ad revenue, or else it's not worth it. And if you want to change the current budget, you would just go in here and say, I want to change the budget to $10. You can see I'm going to get 40 to 50 views for $10. And then you can see here, uh, they, they're trying to tell you, hey, a $100 budget is about kind of where you want to start baseline. Uh, and then based on my budget, I'll spend an average of 67 cents per day. If you want to change the date or the end date, you can do so by clicking the date here on the right hand side and then just going and saying, I want this to run for a week here. I want to spend, let's say, $25 for this. Uh, and then it lets you know again how many views you're going to get. Then you click the next button once you've set up your budget and your targeting there. And it's going to take you over to the billing section. If you have a Google Ads account, obviously it will show up here. Otherwise, it's going to ask you to provide them with a payment method in which you want to pay for the ad. So you can see here I have a PayPal account linked up. 
Uh, and then also you can see here that I have a payment profile. Now, what is a payment profile? Uh, the payment information gets saved when you you purchase anything within a Google account. So that might be where that's coming from. But if you don't have one here, you can click either add or change, and then you can either add a PayPal or a credit or debit card or even a bank account to pay for these ads. All right, and when you're done and you already have your payment method selected and your payment profile, you just click the blue promote button here. And once you do that, it's going to load for a few seconds. And now underneath your promotions tab here, you're gonna see something that says pending. Uh, once this becomes an active advertisement or a promotion, you'll see this say active. And then it will also here under cost, it'll let you know how much you've spent thus far. So if you're two days into the campaign and you've spent like 20 bucks and you have you know, no results to show, you may wanna go back in and click the pencil icon here under details and go and edit some things within the ad to see if you can make some changes that might make, you know, make a difference for you uh, and the ad and the call to action that you're trying to get people to, to do when they watch your video. So that's everything you need to know about the promotions tab and running video ads within YouTube. Again, you want to make sure you're titling it something very catchy, something very uh, eye-catching for the thumbnail, and you wanna make sure you're targeting it to the appropriate people. If you have any questions further about this, please put those in the comment section below. If it helps you out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.